Today at the IET conference we've been talking about how motorsports will affect the future of electrification, specifically how we can take technology from motorsports into the real world. I'm a big fan of using motorsports as a testing ground to develop ideas. Motorsports is great at taking risk, trying new things, experimenting quickly, uh, finding things that what works, what doesn't work, and then the things that work hopefully they transfer over into the other sectors such as public transportation and then hopefully automotive. Are race cars the right place to be developing high voltage electric systems? Uh, yes, I think they are. They're not as dangerous as people make out. Um, we've been developing petrol cars for 100 years now and if I threw it the other way around and said that we'd been running electric cars for 100 years and we were now going to introduce this tank of highly flammable fuel, you'd be asking exactly the same questions. I think with regards to internal combustion engine, um, obviously we've been evolving that powertrain for a very long time. If you look at where a current Formula One car is, actually they are, they are the most efficient internal combustion engines, so it works well with electrification, hybridisation. But I think uh, if you look at a pure electric powertrain, in, its in, in itself in a vehicle, it's, it's considerably more efficient. High voltage electricity can be dangerous in, in the wrong hands, of course, but uh, motor racing itself is, is very highly regulated. And, uh, and of course, the, the Formula E battery was the very first um, lithium-ion race battery to, be, to undertake the uh, FIA's impact testing, which, of course, we're able to pass. The question is, do we just move the problem upstream when we electrify our cars? And I think the answer is, it depends where you are. In France, where they're highly nuclear, or in a country where you've got lots of hydroelectric power, it's probably fair to say that uh, that's not the case. But in a country that's heavily dependent on fossil fuels or whatever, then yes, there's certainly a case. For my presentation, I'll be talking about the electric motorcycle racing at the University of Nottingham. How we started off as just three people effectively working in a shed, moving through to how we've won the European Electric Motorcycle Championship two years in a row and finished on the podium at the TT. And also what kind of challenges are involved in doing something like this. Motorsport has a history of being the, the arena for development of new technologies and there's no reason why motorsport vehicles are not the right place to develop electric technology with the correct procedures in place, there's no reason that an electric powertrain should be of any more danger than any other alternative type of fuel. I chair the IET, Automotive and Road Transport Systems Technical and Professional Network, the Arts TPN, which covers a variety of different industry areas, in particular automotive and highways. The Arts TPN is always looking for volunteers and we invite anyone who wants to participate to put their name forward.